mommy friends. Today this video is to talk about how I store my breast milk in the freezer. If this is something that interests you, then please keep watching. So you have some freshly pumped breast milk. What should you do? Well, you have three options. The first option is you can either leave it on the counter and you have to be able to use it between four to six hours. Um, you can store it in your refrigerator and that'll last up to five days or you can put it in the freezer. I'm just going to show you what I do and how I store my breast milk in the freezer. I have a separate compartment because my milk supply has went up tremendously that we couldn't put it in the regular freezer of our refrigerator. You can store frozen milk in a deep freezer that is by itself for up to 12 months. Ideally though, you wanna try and use it within six months, but if you need to store it within 12 months, that's fine too. In this quick demonstration, I'm gonna show you how I freeze my milk. So you will need the milk that was just pumped, a milk storage bag, and a permanent marker. Remember how much milk is in the bottle that you want to freeze. Write everything down on the labeling side of the bag. There's a spot for date, time, volume, and name. Next, remove the sealed tearaway portion at the top of the bag and open at the seals. I love these bags because they have a double seal to prevent leaks. Carefully pour all the milk inside of the bag and then slowly lay the bag flat on the table to take out as much extra air as you can and then seal it. Lay your milk flat inside of the freezer. I just took a container that used to hold um, food from Costco. I washed it and now I reuse it for my milk storage bags. It's perfect. Now we wait for it to freeze. is frozen you can put it inside in an upright position which creates so much extra space in your freezer so I just took a bag of frozen milk and I'm putting it in some warm water to defrost at room temperature if you can don't use hot water because that'll destroy some of the nutritional properties in breast milk Next, you want to redistribute the fat into the liquid as it's going to separate and to do this, you want to swoosh or swirl the bag around, but don't vigorously shake it. Go ahead and get you a clean bottle and it's ready to pour. These bags are awesome because of the way they were designed. There's a convenient pour spout at the top, which makes pouring the milk a breeze. Don't forget to get every last drop. They don't call it liquid gold for nothing. When you're finished with the bag, just discard it. You don't need to reuse it or save it, and you're ready to go. I hope this video was super informative and helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment down below and I will answer any of your questions. Thank you so much for watching, mommies. Have a great day.